I don't really fit in my diamond. I didn't want to tell you people, I just fell into it. Um, I must admit, in the beginning, twice, I thought about stop tattooing people because I didn't want to hurt them. It went against some of my uh, morals. But then in the, at the end of the day, people want it, so that's what I do. It's a sign of the Virgo. And I've always, for some reason, wanted one on one of my wrists. And so when I was in Edinburgh, I was really drunk one day. And I went into the tattoo parlour and asked for a tattoo. So I went in the next day, still slightly drunk. And I got the Virgo, which I'm really happy with. Asked for the date, which isn't the best idea, because I'd known my date of birth. But no, it was just really nice. Everyone is kind of confused about it. It's like, does it say me? And my dad thought it said MS, so he's asking if I'm ill. But I don't know, I like it because my other tattoo as well, I can hide. So when I need to, it's just me, really, personal. Um, my tattoo uh, is a needle and a thread and I got it because I got onto my BA Honours fashion degree like a few years ago, so... Um, I started off like my teenagers, sort of rebelling against the system. I got piercings and tattoos because I thought they were cool. But the deeper I looked into it online and in the actual body modification circle, you find a real sense of openness with people. There's definitely a subculture there that I really got into. As opposed to the look, it was just the quality of people. I have nine tattoos, which have been done in different places across the country with different tattoo artists. Um, some of them were gifts from friends and family, and some of them I paid for myself to represent things and moments in my life that meant a lot to me. Uh, this was paid for by my big brother on my 18th birthday. This was paid for by my best friend on my 19th birthday. And I got these done in Camden the day before I buried my grandmother. What's the weirdest thing you've ever tattooed on someone? Um, coloured squares on a forearm in uh, horizontal and vertical lines. That was quite strange. The weirdest person you've ever tattooed? I tattooed a man called Tony. He was about six foot two. Looked like he had a blonde Shirley Temple wig on. A long leather black coat. A pink boob tube. <laughs> and he had a 42 double D bust. Did you tattoo one of um, Actually, I tattooed one of his boobs. Um, it was a dragon I put on there. That's when he remarks, you're the only other man that's ever touched him apart from the surgeon. <laughs> oh, and then, and he said to me, because um, he wanted to be a high class escort, and he reckoned that I, I was the sort of fellow he'd go for. And the only thing I could think of to say to him was, um, you've got the same taste as my wife. <laughs> Ooh, that was horrible. <laughs> Are there any tattoos that you refuse to do and why? Oh yeah, there is. Um, I won't put anything racist on anyone. And I won't cover up anything racist. Um, I did have a woman come in once who, um, she, what, she said to me, do you do fetuses? And I said, oh yeah, what, alien? She said, no, a human one. I said, where do you want it? She pointed at her groin. I said, why do you want it there? She said, because I had an abortion two weeks ago. So the only thing I could think of was I said to her, I think you better go back to the doctors. That's one I definitely refuse to do. I've got a, a cladder with um, two nautical stars. I got it for my dad when I was about 15. Um, nothing really special to the meaning, I mean uh, a lot of it's to do with like homecoming and eternal friendship and stuff but um, I just needed it when, I, when um, I was feeling down so I know that I've got a piece of him with me whenever I'm thinking of him sort of thing. Do you think people's attitudes to body modification is changing? 
so yeah. Um, I think everyone wants to be trendy. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, just like with piercing, so many people have got piercings now that I mean, you can't even you can't even make a living from it as such because everyone's been done. How do people react to being a tattoo artist? Um, well, years ago, it was uh, it was quite. Um, an impressive job as such but nowadays I mean for 40 pound you can do what I do is there any kind of rivalry between you and the other two studios in all the shop uh, yeah there's always going to be rivalry in there the same with football teams isn't there you know there's so many teams there's loads of rivalry you get it everywhere don't you rivalry whatever you do so I guess the answer is yes, there is. <laughs> oh, right. Put yours in some of them other ones, I'll see. Yeah. Uh, my chest piece says Memento Vivere, Memento Mori, which is Latin for Remember You Must Live, Remember You Must Die. And I got this tattooed because my brother was very sick and he was in um, intensive care for like a week, a couple of weeks back two years ago and he got me this as a reminder that he will always be a piece of me no matter where he is and if he does one day die, which he probably will. Yeah. <laughs> I think body modification is important because it makes people unique and using art on their bodies to tell stories of their lives is something that I feel very passionate about. I think it's good to be independent and to have reflections of your life on yourself. 